you can see two lines line L and line M are cut by transversal T. Let us measure the distance between these two lines. In the beginning the distance between them is 12 centimeters and it is the same anywhere between them. These two lines are lying in the same plane and have same distance maintained between them. So line L and line M are parallel lines. As you can see here transversal T is intersecting two parallel lines line L and line M and eight angles are formed. Four at the intersection point A and four at the intersection point B. Some of these eight angles can be paired together according to the positions they occupy and these pairs of angles are known by some special names. Let us study the pairs of corresponding angles. Angle 1 and angle 5 form first pair. Angle 1, it gets formed between these lines at this corner and angle 5 gets formed between these lines at this corner. Angle 1 and angle 5 are formed at these matching corners. So, these two angles are called as corresponding angles. So, corresponding angles are such that they are on the same side of the transversal and in two pairs both the angles are above the parallel lines and in another two pairs both the angles are below the parallel lines. These are the pairs of corresponding angles. Let us measure angle 1 and angle 5 with protractor. Angle 1 measures 110 degrees. As you can see angle 5 also measures 110 degrees. Thus measure of angle 1 is equal to angle 5. So we can say that angle 1 and angle 5 are congruent to each other. Now we see the second pair of corresponding angles, angle 2 and angle 6. If you see the angle 2 and angle 6 get formed at these matching corners. So these two angles are called as corresponding angles. Let us measure these angles. Angle 2 measures 70 degrees. Angle 6 also measures 70 degrees. So, measure of angle 2 is equal to angle 6 and we can say that angle 2 and angle 6 are congruent to each other. Now, let us see third pair of corresponding angles. Angle 3 and angle 7 they are formed at these matching corners. If we measure these angles, we can see that angle 3 measures 110 degrees and angle 7 measures 110 degrees. So, measure of angle 3 is equal to angle 7. So, angle 3 and angle 7 are congruent to each other. Now let us see the last pair of corresponding angles, angle 4 and angle 8. They are formed at these matching corners. Angle 4 measures 70 degrees and angle 8 also measures 70 degrees. So measure of angle 4 is equal to angle 8 and we can say that angle 4 and angle 8 are congruent to each other. Now we can say that when a transversal cuts two parallel lines, we get four pairs of corresponding angles such that in each pair the measures of the angles are equal or in other words each pair of corresponding angles is of congruent angles.
then what is the relationship between the angles in each pair of corresponding angles when they are formed by two intersecting lines and a transversal? Let us see. You can see two lines line L and line M are cut by transversal T. These two lines are lying in the same plane. If we measure distance between them at this position it is 4 centimeters and the distance is increasing here as you can see whereas if we extend these lines here the distance between them will decrease and they will intersect each other at some point. So line L and line M are intersecting lines which are cut by the transversal T and 8 angles are formed 4 at the intersection point A and 4 at intersection point B. So, we have got 4 pairs of corresponding angles angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7 and the last pair is of angle 4 and angle 8. Let us measure the first pair of angles angle 1 and angle 5 with the protractor. Angle 1 measures 140 degrees. Angle 5 measures 110 degrees. Similarly, angle 2 measures 40 degrees and angle 6 measures 70 degrees. Similarly, angle 3 measures 140 degrees and angle 7 measures 110 degrees. Angle 4 measures 40 degrees and angle 8 measures 70 degrees. Now we can say that when a transversal cuts two intersecting lines, we get four pairs of corresponding angles. But if we look at the measures of these angles in each pair of corresponding angles, there is no specific relationship between them. Whereas in case of parallel lines, we have seen that each pair of corresponding angles is of congruent angles. So that brings us to a conclusion that if a transversal intersects two coplanar lines, and each pair of corresponding angles is congruent, then those two lines are parallel. Well, if we have more than two parallel lines intersected by a transversal, how many pairs of corresponding angles will be formed? Will these pairs also be of congruent angles? And what if we have more than two parallel lines intersected by more than one transversal? Think about it.